اما بعد فاعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم فيقول السفهاء من الناس ما ولاهم عن قبلتهم التي كانوا عليها قل لله المشرق والمغرب يهدي من يشاء الى صراط مستقيم وكذلك جعلناكم امه وسطا لتكونوا شهداء على الناس ويكون الرسول عليكم شهيدا وما جعلنا القبلة التي كنت عليها الا لنعلم من يتبع الرسول ممن ينقلب على عقبيه وان كانت لكبيرة الا على الذين هدى هدى الله وما كان الله ليضيع ايمانكم ان الله بالناس لرؤوف رحيم قد نرى تقلب وجهك في السماء فلنولينك قبلة ترضاها فول وجهك شطر المسجد الحرام وحيث ما كنتم فولوا وجوهكم شطرا وان الذين اوتوا الكتاب لا يعلمون انه الحق من ربهم وما الله بغافل عما يعملون صدق الله العظيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي اللهم ربنا الهمنا رشدنا واعذنا من شرور انفسنا اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه Amin ya rabbal alamin In the coming two sections of surah al-Baqarah that is the 17th and the 18th the main subject which is discussed is tahwil al-qibla the change in the direction of the qibla sayqul as-sufaha min an-nas now the fools among the people will say ma wallahum an qiblatihim allati kanu alayha what turned them from the qibla the direction which we, they were facing in their prayers previously qul lillahi al mashriq wal maghrib say to them to allah belong all the east the west the east and west both belong to allah yahdi man yasha ila sirat al mustaqim he guides to whom he wishes to the straight path now the same words which appeared previously lillahi al mashriq wal maghrib fa inna ma tawallu fa samma wajhullah those words are repeated here because when there was a change in the qibla the jews especially made it a scandal they made a very big issue out of it till that time because after the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrated to madina he ordered the muslims to face towards jerusalem while praying to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the jews thought that at least they are our camp followers they are facing the same qibla the sacred place of ours that is the sacred place for for us our center our spiritual center if they are facing towards it although he has claimed to be a prophet to be a messenger of allah but they have ex- actually accepted you know in some way at least partially our own traditions but when there was change for about 16 months this was the condition muslims were praying facing towards jerusalem but then came the ayat which we shall be reading presently inshallah very soon and then there was the change of qibla towards the masjid al haram which is at makkah so now they raised who and cry what type of a prophet he is his qibla changes what happened to the the prayers of 16 months if that was the wrong place that was the wrong direction and this is the correct direction it means that the prayers for of 16 months have been lost gone without any avail and what about those who who died during this period people who are living they can you know in some way or the other they can compensate but who have already dead died what will happen to them so it became a very big issue 
That is why Quran is also, you know, starting the discussion in a very unusual manner. فَيَقُولُ الصُّفَحَاءُ مِنَ النَّاسِ مَا وَاللَّهُ مَنْ قِبْلَتِهِمُ الَّتِي كَانُوا عَلَيْهَا The word, you know, sufaha, that is very unusual for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to use. But you know, it was the need of the time. The situation was such that demanded that it should be dealt with with an iron hand. سَيَقُولُ الصُّفَحَاءُ مِنَ النَّاسِ مَا وَاللَّهُ مَنْ قِبْلَتِهِمُ الَّتِي كَانُوا عَلَيْهَا قُلْ لِلَّهِ الْمَشْرِقُ وَالْمَغْرِبُ First answer. This is not a very important issue which you have made out of it. It's a trivial issue. This qibla doesn't mean that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is confined and limited to some one direction. It's only, you know, for the ummah. So that there should be harmony. There should be uniformity and nothing else. Otherwise, east, west, north, south, all the directions belong to Allah. أَيْنَمَا تُوَلُّ فَسَمَّ وَجْهُ اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ وَيَهْدِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ إِلَىٰ صِرَاتِ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ Whomsoever he wishes, he guides to the right path. وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَفَطَلْ لِتَكُونُوا شُهْدَىٰ عَلَى النَّاسِ And in this way, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have made you, O Muslims, the best ummah, the intermediary ummah, or the most justly balanced ummah. This ummah wasata, it can be translated in three ways. Because a thing which is in middle is the best. So the best ummah. Kuntum khaira ummatin uhladit in nas. We shall read this khaira in Surah Ali Imran. Khaira ummatin. So maybe the same meaning is of here also. Kuntum khaira ummatin. وَلَقَدَالِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطَىٰ In this way, we have now declared you to be the best ummah or the intermediary ummah. Now you will be the link between the Prophet ﷺ and the whole of the humanity. Up till now, there were two links in the chain of Risala or Messengerhood. The message of Allah, Wahi came from Allah to Jibreel. From Jibreel to Muhammad ﷺ. Now from Muhammad to the whole of humanity, this ummah is the link. It will carry the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is destined for the whole of humanity, to the humanity at large. So now you are the intermediary ummah. Ummah of wasatan. Litakunu shuhada. And then the most justly balanced ummah. Wasat. In between the two extremes. So balanced. And this, you know, changing of the ibla is a symbol that the former Muslim Ummah has been deposed from this position and now you, O oh, the followers of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam have been installed in that position for all times to come till the end of this world. وَكَذَلِكَ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ أُمَّةً وَسَطَلْ لِتَكُولُوا شُهَدَىٰ عَلَى النَّاسِ So that you should become the witnesses over the humanity at large. وَيَكُولَ الرَّسُولُ عَلَيْكُمْ شَهِيدًا and the Rasul, the Messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he should become a witness over you. By preaching to you, by communicating and conveying to you the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, through words as well as deeds, examples, practical examples. He has communicated and conveyed the message of Allah to you. You have to convey it to the humanity at large. And on the day of judgment, the Prophet will stand up and say and testify, Oh Allah, your guidance that came to me, I had conveyed to them. In the same manner, you will be required to stand and testify that, Oh Allah, your guidance that came to us through Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we had conveyed that guidance to the whole humanity. And if you fail to do so, you will be brought to the book. You will be held responsible. Because if people go astray, if you have conveyed the message and then they go astray, they are responsible. But if you have not at all conveyed the message, then you are first to blame that you have not done your duty. This is, you know, a very serious problem to ponder upon. That this is a very big responsibility of the Muslim Ummah. لِتَكُونُوا شُهَدَاءَ عَلَى النَّاسِ وَيَكُونَ الرَّسُولُ عَلَيْكُمْ شَهِيدًا وَبَعْ جَعَلْنَا الْقِبْلَةَ الَّتِي كُنْتَ عَلَيْهَا and we didn't declare that Qibla on which you were, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for 16 months. We declared or we recognized that Qibla. Why? إِلَّا لِنَعْلَمَ مَنْ يَتَّبِعُ الرَّسُولَ مِمَّنْ يَنْقَلِبُ عَلَىٰ عَقِبَهِ We did so only to differentiate and distinguish those 
who followed Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, who followed the messenger, who obeyed the messenger of Allah, from those who went back on their heels. Now, what's the meaning? Because the Muhajirin, the people of Bakka, who were the first Muslims, they loved Kaaba very much because that was. So, so to say, we can say that was a national monument also. They were the progeny of Ibrahim, and Ibrahim built this house of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and they were doing Hajj during the Jahiliya also, before Islam also. Although many things wrong were added to the rites and rituals of Hajj, many things which were essential were diminished from them. But but you know, still this was going on. It was a national place for them, national monument for them. So now, when they were asked after Hijra, now you have to face to Jerusalem. It was a testing for them. If they really obeyed Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam or not, if they had the the love of their ancestral, you know, monument, then they would not have prayed towards facing towards Jerusalem. So that was a test to distinguish those who really obeyed and followed the messenger of Allah, and from those those who. Went back on their heels. Mimma yankale bo ala akibay. Why in kanat la kabira to? And surely it was a very big trial, very hard test to which the Muslims from Mecca were put. Illa ala nazir had Allah, except on those whom Allah Subhanahu wa Taala guided. Wama kan Allah li zia imanakum, and Allah is not going to let the prayers of the Muslims go in waste because prayers are the most essential thing. A salat or imadu din, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is not going to let the iman, the faith of the Muslims go in waste. Le yuzia imanakum in Allah bin Nasir al Rauf al Rahim. Those who prayed towards Jerusalem when the command of the Prophet was to to face towards that tibla, well, the the prayers were okay. They were accepted by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. They were genuine. They are not lost whatsoever because it was under the command of the Rasul of Allah. Hence. Now the command is towards Kaaba, so now you have to pray towards Kaaba, and now this is the testing. Now for whom? Supposedly, Ab Abdullah ibn Salam, رضي الله تعالى عنه, he was a Jew, and he was a alim, a very learned person, a rabbi of the Jews. He embraced Islam. Now when he had to face towards Kaaba, and he was now having his back towards Jerusalem, it was a test for him. Whether he has really accepted Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Islam and Quran, or there is some, you know, degree of uh, sort of weakness of his faith, it was a test. So it was a two-way test. When the Muslims were ordered to face towards Jerusalem, it was a test for the people of the Bakka. When they were commanded to face towards Bakka, it was a test for especially the Jews. If they, someone of them had accepted Islam, it was a big trial and test for him that he is now doing his back towards Jerusalem and facing towards Mecca. In Allah bin Nasir al Rauf al Rahim, very be Allah Taala is with the people. He is very much merciful and kind.